For two decades, many of the Cincinnati region's most impactful projects have had one thing in common. They have been financed, in part, by the port. As an Ohio Port Authority, the port offers unique finance tools to developers, nonprofits, and municipalities to unlock stuck real estate for housing, jobs, and improved quality of life for Hamilton County residents. What our public finance tools do is help create opportunity for a lot of different returns on investment to occur. Since its first financing project in 2004, the port's public finance practice has issued over $1.9 billion in financing for projects, creating nearly 8,000 jobs, 9,000 homes or apartments, and attracting nearly $4 billion in private investment to our region. With 126 projects across the region, chances are high that you walk or drive by a port-financed project every day. In Harrison, Ohio, the port's public finance team worked closely with the city of Harrison, Ready Cincinnati, Jobs Ohio, and Hamilton County to support a major expansion of Harrison's biggest employer, JTM Food Group. They were ecstatic and excited for us. They threw every mechanism they could because they wanted job growth and local business success. They really helped us a lot. Founded in 1960 as a single shop on Cincinnati's west side, JTM has grown to supply food service products to all 50 states. And its growth continues today. Our employment base has doubled through this expansion. So we, we went from 350 roughly before this expansion to close to 700 now. The reason why we're speaking with the port again is we're getting ready to build the third production line. Just 20 miles to the east, the port's public finance tool supported a series of projects to revitalize a neighborhood business district. For me, the, my relationship and model's relationship with the port is really less about the specific tool and more about the relationship and an all-in attitude and approach to helping us solve a community problem. Model Group's projects revitalize some of Walnut Hill's most iconic buildings, bring in local small businesses, add residential options, and soon we'll bring a grocery store back to a food desert. It's filling another gap that existed and has existed since Kroger left, but I think doing it in a way that is also drawing in and attracting new residents to Walnut Hills as well as serving people who have lived here for decades. In downtown Cincinnati, two major public finance projects are underway to bring hundreds of residential units to the city's core, reusing two major mainstays of the skyline in the process. Macy's headquarters, that is one of the most important things of American history and American commerce history. And Carew Tower, there's really nothing like it. It's, it verges on being a mascot of the city. The former Macy's building has sat vacant since 2020, but soon it will be home to hundreds of residents. One of the best things about the port, it's accessible. And you, when you have people to talk to and say, hey, this is how this works. And so I think the port has done a fantastic job of coming up with some interesting solutions and then also helping create a pathway so the solutions can be used. The port's mission revolves around making real estate work for jobs, for housing, and for cleaner, greener, and safer neighborhoods and business districts. And its public finance practice plays a major role in helping the port and its partners make real estate work for everyone.